गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इकरा इंग्लिश हाई स्कूल ऊन सूरत आई एम जॉन सर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेक टेंथ क्लास डेट सेवेंथ जुलाई सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स फिफ्टींथ लेसन लेसन नेम प्रॉबलिटी वीडियो पार्ट सेकेंड Example first. That is dice. Total event six. See, students, see a total event is six. How? It is first event, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. So, total event is six. Okay. now how many just see how many times 2 is there in a die that is equal to 1 how just see see 2 is there only one time remaining are other numbers so how many Times two is there only one time. Okay, students. Now next, find the probability of two outcomes in a die. We need to find the probability of two. so c students here total event is 6 and favorable of event is 1 so we know that formula that is favorable outcomes divided by total so we will get 1 by 6 how you know that formula favor of event is favorable event is 1 and total is 6 so the possibility of two getting is 1 by 6 it means that if you throw the dice six times at in six times one time you will get at least two it's indicate that now next slide we will go second example same dice Okay, this question is taken from the test book. Okay, now see students. A dice is thrown once. Find the probability of getting prime number. A prime number. Okay, first of all, we should know the about prime number. Prime numbers are the numbers that have only two factors. Means it has a number which have only two factor that numbers are called prime number so in dice we have prime number that is 2 and 3 and one more number 5 because these three numbers are prime number because these three numbers are having only two factors okay students see so here total event is again 6 a prime number that is 2 3 and 5 so total event sorry prime, prime number event is 3 so here total event is 3 and favorable event is sorry total event is 6 and favorable event is 3 so therefore so for therefore our outcome 3 upon 6 now next slide example 3 same dice now again see a dice is thrown once find the probability of getting 
an odd number you know very well about the odd numbers you studied in small classes okay in previous classes so first year one is odd number three also odd number and one more five so three events are there total event is six odd number and odd number that is one three five so here three events is there so total event here total events is three and favorable event is three sorry total event is six and favorable event is three so therefore Three upon six. Here three indicate favorable event and six indicate total event. So from this example also, if you throw a dice six times, three times you will get the odd numbers. Okay. So these are showing the possibilities of odd numbers. Now next homework. Dice same dice. Question is that a dice is thrown once. Find the probability of getting getting a number lying between two and six. Lying between two and six. Try yourself, students. Try this question. Thank you, students.